think it's called the Mining Council. Mm -hmm. uh, the meeting with Elon uh, that Michael uh, Saylor put on. Just whatever you can say about in terms of like going into it, kind of what was your thought process of like, uh, we're going to participate in this. I, I think you guys participated. Mm -hmm. um, what were you hoping to get out of it? And then like at the meeting, I don't know how much you can talk about like what was actually discussed, but just like what did you get out of it? Right. So preface, I wasn't actually on the call. Okay. Our chairman, Merrick uh, Okamoto, was on the call. But going into it, what we really wanted to do was um, really work with Elon to help him understand kind of what we're doing. Uh, you know, he put out a tweet that showed you know, the carbon footprint, uh, if it was all based on coal, et cetera, et cetera, uh, of what was happening with power consumption. And so we really wanted to, A, address that with him, let him know kind of what we're doing and that we are much greener than um, you know, he put out to say, and then offer the opportunity to collaborate. And, um, you know, while I think he tweeted after the meeting uh, a tweet that he was, uh, you know, going to collaborate with us, um, you know, we'll have to see kind of what he does. Uh, I put out an open invite to him yesterday on Fox, uh, you know, and said, hey, we'd love to work with you on the technology. Right? Mm -hmm. You know, renewable energy is a technology that needs investment, continue to drive the cost down. Battery storage and utility scale storage is a huge opportunity um, that will benefit every single consumer in North America and around the world. And the Bitcoin mining industry could fund a lot of that because it's helpful to what we're doing. So I would love to collaborate with them and any other technology providers in that space. Yeah. Um, I forget who said it, but somebody said the use of the word council, mm -hmm. right, was probably too, uh, yes. not thought out enough, right? And like maybe association would have given a different uh, inclination to it. Yeah. And so let's hold that constant of like, forget nomenclature for a second. What is your understanding of kind of like what this mining association council, whatever, uh, is going to do moving forward? Is it kind of like, hey, we're going to meet, you know, once a quarter and we're going to kind of just like help each other with best practices? Is it more of a, we're going to all publish the same report and with data? Uh, do you guys have Elon's cell phone number and you're going to like, you know, text them whenever <laughs> something happens? Like, like, how do you kind of just see this moving forward? Yeah, uh, I don't think we'll be texting him. Um, <laughs> He'll we, tweet we, at you guys. Don't yeah, worry. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll copy him on a, on a tweet or two. Or we might DM him. But um so, you know, the goal is uh, really to um, provide a forum, if you would, for any miner to basically come and learn and also for us all to educate the marketplace, uh, not just the regulators, but also the general marketplace about what we're doing. And so part of that is going to be publishing commitments. Here's what we intend to do over the next year. You know, we've publicly said that our next deployment will be fully carbon neutral and we'll uh, achieve uh, you know, full carbon neutral over our whole fleet by the end of next year. Um, and so we'll be held accountable to that. And, you know, even the small miners uh, to publish kind of, you know, here's our current power footprint, what we're, the sources we're using, here's where we're going to be, and then reporting on a regular basis, whether that's monthly or quarterly, that's to be seen. Uh, but the mission is really of education and information sharing. Um, it's not, uh, you know, I think somebody tweeted, you know, oh, this is OPEC for mining. It's not. For one thing, the market share of the members is fairly small still in the overall global hash rate. Um, and it's open to anybody who wants to join. Uh, you know, the good thing about this industry is every Bitcoin is the same. We don't control the price. The market controls the price. Um, so there's no product differentiation. Uh, and there's no pricing differentiation. So it's really operational excellence. And it feels like uh, a big differentiation here is that, uh, as far as I understood from what I've read and people I've talked to, there's no like, hey, we're going to come together and make decisions, right? It's more so we're going to come together and what we're going to do is we're going to agree from a publishing standpoint, like what con uh, what content, what data should be shared. And, yeah. and it's more so um, uh, almost like industry standards more so than it was like, let's all make a decision on an action that we're going to take that has an effect on Bitcoin, the blockchain, the mining process, et cetera. Uh, and so in some way, if people can separate out like, hey, well, let's talk about what internal data we should share versus like, you know, some of the other meetings that have happened in Bitcoin that haven't turned out so uh, so, like, so well. Like 2017? Yes. <laughs> uh, you guys are basically doing the former, right? It's like, we have all this data. We understand our energy mix. We understand, um, you know, uh, so much of what each other's doing. Like, we should all come out and say it because it's going to be overall good for the yeah. industry. 